Hey guys, I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to The Last Starship. This is the Early Access, and I am honestly really excited. I was involved a little bit in the playtesting, and I also was able to play the demo. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff to it, but this is Early Access. They've got the Creative Mode, which is only available in the playtest, and they've got the demo, which only had the new game. And, by the way, I love this. Every time you highlight it, it's a little bit of a different, you know, tweak, you know, squeak. It's kind of pretty cool. Um, but, okay, so what is this game about? Let's go back to the beginning here. Here we go. So, um, this game is really about building a starship, okay, and then having a crew to man it and manage all the resource aspects of it. It's kind of like a little bit of a Cosmeteer with a little bit of, like, Oh, another game like uh, FTL or something, uh, but it's really cool. So I want to play it and I will see how far we go. So let's go to a new game. Uh, you know, there are a bunch of different. Let's see. There's a shipyard. Build your own ship. Funding two million. Awesome. I do want to do the uh, new player. Let's start with the Praxis here. So let's go ahead. Let's begin, and here we go. All right, so we have this particular, uh, these contracts, right? And so this contract says, like, for instance, a reactor generating power. These are the things that I need to make for my new ship. Um, so let's get started. We have our crew, and these are all the different crew members that we currently have. So what we'll do is we'll kind of follow along with this tutorial. The first thing they want you to do is build a reactor. So we've come, if you notice, right up here, right here. We have these re boxes, if you will, and they are all of these products boxed into these neat kind of like crates. And so you can install them. Now it's saying it wants to install a reactor. So we're going to go down to reactor. We're going to go here and we're going to install it. Now it's also saying a fuel loader. So we're going to do the fuel loader and we're going to pop that right there. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to connect it up with the fuel pipe. So we go down to pipes and we kind of just click, drag, click drag and click drag just like that and the fuel will all be connected up once that pipe gets established uh and we'll see yep see so it's fueling up right now fantastic so we did that and now it says it's done now the next thing we need is engines capable of propulsion so let's go ahead and install a couple of engines we're gonna go ahead and pop them right here why because that's well that's pretty much where they want us to put them i'm gonna do i don't know uh, do i want to like there I guess let's kind of put it uh it kind of popped out of the back a little bit uh let's do both of them that way there we go we'll wait for those to go ahead and build uh while we do that let's get to some other things so it says test the engines life support to make the interior habitable that's another one that we'll want to do so let's go to the life support so what we'll want to do is put an oxygen loader right here uh now i'm kind of thinking you know, we can line these right up so that the loaders are right nearby to the stored area. So there we go. Uh, that was an oxygen loader. And then we need an air duct. Now, I honestly, I never know where to put this thing. Honestly, it could go anywhere. But I'm kind of thinking like, I don't know, right along, right along this wall, actually. That would be kind of cool uh, because it's kind of be hidden by the wall a little bit. Uh, so let's put it right there. And then we need to go ahead and put piping. So we're going to do oxygen down to here, over one and down one, just so that we don't get anything crisscrossed. Now, cables. Cables are going to go to the reactor module. So we're going to scoot that right over there. Now, also, we need cables and fuel for the thruster. So let's go ahead and get cables up. We'll kind of scoot cables over this way. We'll pop cables like that. And then we'll keep going right like this, up like this, and over like that. Now, thankfully, pipes and cables don't actually uh, have any issues with crossing into each other. So we're going to just do this. And we are going to go down like this, probably to here. And then over to there. There we go. We're going to connect it up. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides, just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now these engines are building up with power and with fuel. Awesome. Now the next thing I want to do is I would like to establish a storage area. First, we're going to do any cargo and we're just going to pop it all right there. So these guys are going to take all these stored components and they're going to pop it all in this area. Now, I can go ahead and change what I want stored. So for instance, we want to store suits. So let's go ahead and find the suits, spacesuits right there. And I want to put the spacesuits over here. 
So they're going to go ahead and they're going to take those spacesuits and they're going to pop them over here. That's great. Now I want to split up this stuff. We've got fuel and we've also got FTL charges and food and water and things. I'd like the fuel to be in its own area. I might even put the fuel right next door. So let's go to storage and then let's go find fuel. And then we're going to toss it right there. So now it's going to take all the fuel and it's going to put it right there. Now, the next thing we want to do is test the engines. So we got to go to the tactical screen. So we'll go up here to tactical. And we have this uh, fantastic, I love this layout because it looks so, it does. It reminds me of a tactical screen. It looks like there is a star base. So we can go ahead and kind of uh, right click or we can uh, left click. So left clicking means that we're just going to travel in that direction according to that arrow. So we're just going to travel and we're not going to stop. Whereas right clicking tells us that we are going to go to that destination and stop. Now we do have throttle that we can control and we can drag it up and down, but it's kind of all automatic, honestly. And we should be stopping right about, let's go ahead and stop right about there. All right. And we stopped. Perfect. So now we can exit tactical and we've done it. Now, an FTL drive is capable of uh, hyperspace jumping, and so let's go ahead and install that FTL drive. All right, and they're going to build that up, and in the meantime, we do need power. So the FTL drive is going to be connected right up to power. That was piping. Let's go ahead and remove all of that. <laughs> and let's go to cables. There we go. And let's patch the cables in. So now the FTL drive is also capable and ready. Now, another thing I would like to do is I would like to do storage, and I'd like to do storage for the oxygen. So let's go find the oxygen, and let's toss in storage right here for oxygen. Awesome. And if you notice, as it cut around it, I, I love how it does it, honestly. It's really intelligent, really smart in how they did the cargo stuff. All right, now let's see. Done, done, done. Now jumped to the marked destination. So how we jump is first we can go to FTL, and it says ready but no destination. So we got to go to our sector map. Now this is our sector map and you can go here and you can warp to different sectors and whatnot, but this is the destination. So we're going to uh, left click on that and it's going to select that as the destination. Now we're going to exit out and we're going to go to FTL and we're going to prepare for jump. So now we're going to go ahead and line up to the actual direction that we're going to be warping to. Now alignment kind of goes up and down until we line up exactly. But the FTL drive is ready, so then we'll jump, and there we go. We've got that nice time bar at the top showing us how long it's going to take, and the FTL drive jumped. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of FTL charges. We have a few. Looks like we can jump a good uh, six more times or so, but it does take a full cartridge every, every single time. All right, so we've done that. So we've completed it completely. These are going to be our new contracts, or you could call them missions, I suppose. So let's go ahead and look. Courier mission, deliver cargo. I love these ones. These ones are awesome. So we're going to see a ship come in. There it is. Perfect. He's going to dock. And I would like to do mission cargo. Perfect. And we're going to toss mission cargo all right here. Now, another thing that we can do is we can go to trade. Now, this is where we can find more equipment. Now, currently, we only have 50. So we've got to be a pretty bit careful. Uh, let's go into propulsion. And let's see, they do have box thrusters. Interesting. So if we have thrusters, maneuver thrusters must be attached to the wall of the ship. Provides thrust to permit lateral and rotational movement. Pretty cool that there's also a thruster. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab a couple. We'll grab two thrusters. Let's confirm. Now I also need to look at something else. We have food boxes. They're pretty full. Um, the bar, here we go. So there's bars here. So we can see that they've used a little bit. Now I would like to split up the cargo a little bit. So let's go ahead and go food. All right. So we're kind of splitting it up a little bit more so we can see. Now water. Uh, we do, uh, yeah, we're fine with water. They drink water right from there. That's how they provide. Let's go and see what else we have to install. We have thruster, thruster, medium tanks. All right. All right. Now, one thing I'd like to say is that this fuel rod right here, as soon as this is empty, no more fuel until they get a new canister on there, which is not pretty good. Matter of fact, we're a little low on fuel. Let's go ahead and grab four more. There we go. We can fit four more right there. Uh, so we want to add in a tank. Let's go ahead and add a medium tank for our fuel. Okay, so what this is going to do is this is going to drain down all the fuel, but now it's available in the tank. 
That way we have a consistent amount of fuel. See, it's slowing down. Now it's going to drop back down. And they are going to go ahead and they're going to empty out that fuel tank and they're going to put a new one on. See how that works? So it's always good to have extra fuel in a fuel tank so that when they're swapping out these canisters, you don't just automatically, the whole entire system shuts down because the reactor's dead. I mean, that just, you know, doesn't, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work well. Um, so, so that's kind of an important thing there. Now, what else do we have? Thruster boxes. All right, so let's go ahead and do this mission. I think we've got enough. We, although, I kind of want a little bit more food and water. I'm kind of a little nervous about that, especially considering uh, we just got some cargo. Uh, let's go to habitation. There we go. And is there food and water? Yes, there is. Let's get three water and no, let's get four and four. Four and four. That sounds perfect. So then they're going to be dropping off all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. So they're going to put it in its respective places, which is great. Now I'm thinking of also putting the FTL charges over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Storage, FTL. There it is. And let's go ahead and pop those FTL charges right there. Look at that. We're getting all organized. I love it. Honestly, this game is really cool on organization. They have a lot of cool features that I just, I really enjoy. It's so simple, but so cool. All right, so we've got this cargo. Where does it go? Glad you asked. Let's go back to here. You can say it says deliver. So we'll go ahead and left click. It assigns it. Let's go to our FTL. Let's prepare the jump. They'll rotate ourselves around. Now, honestly, the more you zoom out, the more you're going to get dizzy. Uh, let's jump. There we go. Fantastic. Um, so we just say deliver and it's going to utilize a ship to come in and deliver it. They're going to collect it from our ship. So we just did that contract and we are going to get 21,000 out of that. And they're done. Contract complete. Delivered 21 out of 21. And I love that little count up. Such a cool little uh, feature there, seeing these things count up. Let's go ahead and do another delivery. Let's accept this one. Um, so let's go in and let's get some more storage. I want to do mission cargo. There we go. And I kind of want to expand the mission cargo, honestly, because we're going to be collecting a boatload more right about now. Let's uh, go into contracts and let's go ahead and accept a second one courier mission right here or right here, I guess. That one's 23, that one's 25. Let's do the 23. Looks like fuel is out. So let's go ahead for fuel. Um, the fuel is out because, well, uh, I, I filled up this storage tank really full, which is fine. It, it's fine to fill it up. I mean, see, it's, it's draining down very slowly. We've got over 5,000 units in there. And each one of these uh, fuel rods, fuel tanks, are literally just a thousand. I guess we're going to have to go to the next system. So let's plan out the next one. Deliver. Currently we're at 19,000. Uh, that's not a ton. Uh, but we've been buying fuel rods like mad. Matter of fact, we're filling it up like mad too. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of FTL charges or at least two. Yeah, let's get two FTL charges as well. Let's do the last one here. Let's go to a sector map. Let's go up and let's deliver. So I think we're going to need a second reactor because we're just not pumping enough power out. But I also think maybe we need a battery. You know what? I do believe there are batteries. Oh, also, we might want a tank of air. Uh, you know what? We need to buy more oxygen. Yikes. Uh, let's, let's go to oxygen. Here we go. Let's buy four oxygen. Cost is 20. Oh my goodness. How much is... Wow. Okay, let's buy two oxygen. Uh, because we don't have... We don't want to spend a ton of moolah. Uh, and then let's see about a reactor. No, not the editor. Let's go into energy. Reactors are 57 grand. However, we can afford a battery. Which I think a battery is going to help for the thrusters. So let's go ahead and purchase a battery. Um, also, let's go to the contract and let us i want to see what happens if we just click the deliver button um yeah so they literally will deliver and do everything while the ship is connected oh that's brilliant that way we don't have to wait for other ships i believe in the play test uh or excuse me in the, the uh, demo you couldn't actually like that it didn't work like this somehow or something like that um it was a little bit odd but very very cool now uh that you can just do everything all with the one shuttle and there's our contract completed. Fantastic. Ooh, an urgent transport. Yes, we are totally going to do this. We need at least 12 free cabins. Let's go ahead and talk about that. 
So if we go to our editor here and then we go over to, uh, let me see, floors, wall, habitation, there's this habitation layer. Do you see this ladder right here? If we go down to here, we're going to see there's a ladder right here. Matter of fact, that's what that is. That goes up to the top floor, and the top floor is called the habitation area. Now this habitation area gives us a count. It tells us that, uh, you know, we can fit a 32. There's 32 cabins, if you will. Uh, and there is a lot of sewage. We're gonna have to fix the sewage thing, and I'll show you how we do that later. Um, but there's only five people here. Now, the moment we accept this contract, okay, we're going to go ahead and accept it because that's going to give us a lot of moolah, 44,000, yeah, um, yeah, they're offering 78% more money than usual, no idea why, but we're just going to go ahead and do it, uh, let's actually do that really quick, so sector, let's transport passengers, let's go ahead to the FTL drive, let's prepare to jump, and let's get over there. Now it looks like our fuel finally capped out on our tank, which is great, which means that this is still draining. Oh, it's only draining because we're using it currently. Okay, so you know, now that that tank is capped out, it won't be filling so quickly and we've kind of slowed down on the fuel rod requirement. That's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and jump. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead to the contract. We're gonna go ahead and deliver the 12 passengers get them off board and we'll go to the habitation layer and we'll see that these guys are here up in the habitation area and they're just kind of chilling now they're going to go down into the ladder and they're going to go and be delivered and that'll give us that 44 grand which is awesome now we have enough money we're going to do it we're going to get another reactor we're going to confirm uh we are going to need more fuel and i'm kind of thinking of getting a second fuel loader so let's go see uh, let's see, a fuel loader and a bunch of fuel. So we've got a new reactor. So let's go ahead and install that. Let's get that second reactor here. So let's go ahead and tag that right there. It'll be connected to that red. And then all we'll do is connect the cable up. We'll connect the pipe up just like that. Perfect. So we'll have two reactors. Excellent. We've got plenty of fuel. We've got a couple of FTL charges. Let's go to contracts. Urgent passenger transportation. We've passed. Let's go ahead and do it. We've got plenty of food, plenty of water. We go through it very, very slowly. All right. So we've got those passengers. We're going to go ahead to our transportation. Trans transportate <laughs> transport the passengers we're going to prepare for that jump uh nice so we've got two reactors we're pumping out a ton more power uh we're not losing power at all that is good that's really good to see that actually i think the next thing i'd like to do at some point is install this battery matter of fact let's go ahead and do that i think that would be uh really fantastic there we go uh, that battery will be all connected up. That battery will be charged up with the reactor. Oh, fantastic. Look at that charging up. These things are sucking the watts. Fantastic. And it's all charged up. That way we'll be able to just, you know, have that function a little bit more smoothly. Let's go ahead and jump. All right, contract. Let's go and deliver. <laughs> there we go. That contract gave us ooh, 58 grand, which put us at 58 grand in 900 uh we didn't have much money left did we but oh wow you know guys it's it's really cool you can design this any way you want matter of fact you can add on you can make it any shape any size and i love just this free form kind of building we've got this nice little uh power system here i think it's laid out well i think it's pretty uh pretty effective but guys that's gonna do it for today thank you for joining me this has been a fantastic time playing this game the last starship i will see you guys on the next one please like subscribe and if you want to join me on discord for a chat that would be great if you want to support the channel through patreon that would be awesome too but until then i'll see you next time later